So we've made a variety of flowers. Now we're going to make filler flowers. What are filler flowers? They're smaller, inconsequential flowers that may not take the center stage of your cake, but you need them to fill some of the gaps in between and also to give balance to the bouquet or to the center of the cake. So I'm going to use a 26 gauge wire and I'm going to cut them into small pieces. We're going to be making what I love are called lilies of the valley. Now, unfortunately, that's another flower you would never realistically put on your cake because they would be poisonous. But in sugar paste, it's perfectly okay. So I'm going to cut small pieces. I don't need them to be very big. The filler flowers you'll find often come in trails. They kind of come together in a trail. So I'm going to do that about in three or four pieces. And again, I'm going to take them and make a small little hook at the top. And this is a really tiny one. And when you make your hook, make sure that you leave it open so that the hook can actually grab the sugar. You never want to close the hook. If you close the hook, then it's not going to hold on to the sugar and the center of your flour is going to come apart. So I'll do all of them as I need them. Now I'm going to take that white sugar paste and I'm going to massage it again, make sure that it's nice and malleable. And you want to keep your sugar paste in the refrigerator, okay? If you're going to use it, if you're going to keep it for a while, keep it in the refrigerator. The gums that are contained in it will begin to ferment. You don't want that to happen because then your sugar paste begins to expand, it gets too soft, and then it goes, goes back. So I'm going to take a little small pea-sized piece of sugar paste. I mean literally a pea size. And you can make them smaller or larger depending on what your length or your trail of Lily of the Valleys are going to be. I'm going to dip into my glue, just a little bit of glue on the surface, take a little off. The same way we're going to hook it right into the center, push it in and pull it up just like that, and then make sure that my P is nicely, or my center I should say, is nicely attached to the base, just like that. And then I'm going to use a bit of styrofoam, and I've been using the styrofoam over and over again. You can see that it's a little bit holy. It doesn't matter. We're just going to take it, stick it in that. I'm going to make about six of these. So for the glue, I'm just going to use a little bit of my sugar paste that's already made. Take a small piece of it, probably about this big, and add that to about two cups of water and bring it to a boil or put it in a plastic container and put it in my microwave for about three or four minutes until it dissolves. Let it cool down and then I have glue. And just like my sugar paste, I'm always going to keep it refrigerated when I'm not using it. So now I have my centers, they're all dry and I'm ready to tape them. I'm going to use a dark colored tape. Now there are two ways that you can do this. I kind of like putting my scent, my flower bases together first and then I'm going to finish them off because they're so delicate it sometimes they get, can get uh, damaged a little bit. So right here we're going to start again by putting our tape onto our wire on a slight angle lower than where the flower base is. Roll it then push it up all the way to the bottom, and I'm going to cover this whole and complete little stem. I'm going to do all six of them. So now I have all six of my buds covered with wire. I'm going to attach them now. So I need more tape. I'm going to start with the largest head, and that's going to be at top. And I'll go about halfway down, okay, to start my taping. And now I'm going to add the next bud, and that's going to be a little further down so that it looks like it's stair stepped. Now, because I have to make a long line, I'm going to use an additional bit of wire so that I can make the full length of the flowers. So right here I'll add that and wrap it. And now I'm going to take another bud 
and go a little further down so you can see. And I can change the position of it. It doesn't have to be right underneath of it. Nature kind of uh, makes them a little off. They don't have to be necessarily perfectly. I have a piece of wire showing. So I don't want to see any of that wire that I first put on there. So I have to make sure it's very well covered. Now my next bud right underneath. And that's why we want to have them pre-done so that we can place them without having to have any worries about it. One more. And you don't have to do six. You can do as many as you would like on your spray. So I'm going to stop at four. I think that's enough. And I'll continue to cover my wire as far as I need it to go. Now I don't anticipate that it'll go much further in my cake than that. So right where I am, I'll tear off my tape take my wire cutters and cut right through. I'm ready for the next stage. So again, I'm going to make my white sugar paste and I'm going to massage it to make sure that the gums are really, really soft. And this is the fun part now. This is the finish. We're going to take it, roll it out. fairly thin, not too thin. This is about as thick or as thin as I need it because I'm also going to have to do a little bit of stretching with my um, cutter. So for my Lily of the Valley, they have a really small little top. So I have this small little cutter and you can cut it, cut them or buy cutters uh, according to what you may want um, or what you may have. You can also sometimes find things right within the house that do the same thing. And this cutter is smaller than I thought it was going to be. And I'm going to take it after I've cut all of them, and I'm going to use my ball tool. This time I'm going to use the small ball tool. And I'm going to just make it a little bit bigger. You kind of have to play with this a little bit and pull the sides out slowly so that you can get it to expand. And then once I've done that, a little bigger. Pull out my corner ends just a bit so I can see it. I'm going to cup into the center of it so it has a little bit of a curl. Turn it over. Put a little bit of glue right on the back and then attach it right to the top of my flower. And there, I have the start of my Lily of the Valleys. And I'm going to do that for every single butt. So here, I put the tops on everything. Now it's finished. All I need is a little bit of color. So again, I'm gonna use some yellow, just a little bit of yellow. And again, I wanna take a nice brush that's gonna control my color and I'm put just a little color right in the center. You can always blow what may be additionally on there if there's too much. You could also pipe the centers. Take a cornet with a little bit of royal icing and pipe the centers. But for filler flowers, we don't have to go so much to that. We just want to see the effect of them. Then once you have them applied, you can take the lily of the valleys and you can bend the heads however you want them to hang. And there's your filler flower. So, if you enjoyed this, please let us know by pressing the like button.